South African President F.W. de Klerk is holding talks with ANC leader Nelson Mandela today. As the country's multiracial democracy talks enter a critical stage, many far-right activists are wondering about their future. Martin Simungal reports. South Africa's right wing is on the move, defiantly racist. A soldat van God. Because we are soldiers of God, soldiers of the fatherland, says Eugene Terblanche. The leader of the neo-fascist Afrikaner resistance movement tells right-wingers we don't share land with anyone. But in its rush to cling to all the ways, the right wing is getting left behind. Apartheid is dying. Blacks are expected to vote within a year. Multiracial negotiations are molding a new South Africa. They want Afrikaner autonomy in the new South Africa. Retired General Constance Filyun, a former chief of the South African Defense Force, recently formed the Afrikaner People's Front. At this weekend's march in Pretoria, Filyun delivered a petition to the government demanding a constitution providing for Afrikaner self-determination. It gave them six months to comply. But Eugene Terblanche isn't hopeful. If they believe that they can, can negotiate for our fatherland and get it back, I'll let them try. I'm preparing myself for the war. What sort of war, sir? The most terrible war ever known in the history of Africa. To win self-determination at the negotiating table, the right wing will need support from black liberation movements like the ANC. And the two sides are sworn enemies. Blacks see right-wing Afrikaners as a symbol of decades of oppression. But right-wing Afrikaners are equally afraid of black domination. To them, the ANC and its flag is something to destroy. Martin Seamungle, CBC News, Pretoria.